What's up, YouTube? Let's look at a couple of ways of creating custom filters in Vital. Let's dive in and have a look. So firstly, the easiest way to kind of create a custom filter, uh, unlike what's available in your actual filters menu over here, is by using this distortion module. And here you'll notice that it's got a pre or post filter a pretty interesting thing to do is to create a pre-filter and then you kind of like use this filter sweep here and the drive characteristics of the distortion to create like a custom filter sound. I'm just going to put a bit of delay and reverb on here. So now what we do is we can set here, let's say filter and we use a macro to create this filter sweep. So obviously because you can modulate the macros within Vital, this is pretty cool because you could like save this patch and then come back later and instead of having to worry about, okay, now you want to apply an LFO to the filter and you can't remember where the filter is in the patch, you could just apply this to the macro. Let's set this to sync. <laughs> So now let's say we want to change the characteristics of this filter, you know, say for example, when the resonance is most audible and that kind of thing, maybe give it a slightly non-linear characteristic. What we can do is we can apply this macro to, for example, like the resonance. Let's just turn this down a bit and we can apply this to the resonance about like 50% or so. And then we jump into the, the mod remaps in the matrix and we can use this to kind of determine at what points the resonance is highest. So for example, we can say sweep from down and about midpoint the resonance is higher and sweep down again. So we can use this setting to kind of create different characteristics within that filter sweep. Another interesting thing we can do is we can kind of create a super macro or like a multi filter using a single knob. So let's say for example, set this macro to apply to this blend as well. And now it takes a bit of tricky thinking here with the mod remaps. But here, what I want to do is say past about 50% or so sweep it upwards. And then here with the filter cutoff, we might want to put in a shape more like this. Check this out. Let's maybe change it to a band pass filter instead of a high pass filter. So we can go over to the blend mode and let's switch this to two and then sweep it up to 50%. And then here we can sweep this down again. So 
so check this out. I'm going to sweep this filter quickly for you guys. But I'm going to turn this LFO off here real quick. So we're able to get incredible control out of a single filter sweep knob by just assigning, you know, assigning it to different things and mod remapping to, to kind of change these characteristics and stuff. And you can expand this to the kind of, to the nth degree, you know, you can have multiple filters switching for different things, you know, much like I explained in that, uh, in the previous video about mod remaps and stuff where you can actually switch things. So this is more like sweeping things. So I guess the idea here is to go for more gradual movements because you're going to be probably sweeping this filter when you're playing the sounds, you know. <laughs> Okay, so I just want to initialize this preset and I want to show you guys the next cool idea. So I want to show you guys a really cool way of creating like a sequence to a filter or random modulation to a filter, but still allowing the user to sweep it if they want. So here, let's say, for example, I'm just going to leave it as a kind of basic saw wave. I'll maybe turn it down an octave. So then let's go here, uh, turn on filter and let's give it a phaser filter. Do the usual. So let's put a random modulation on this. So let's say, for example, okay, I, um, I want to supply this patch to somebody, but I want to give them the ability to actually sweep the filter as well, or I want to be able to sweep the filter in a different way than this random, like in a break or something like that. So what we can do is we can assign this macro to not only switch off the randomization to the filter, but also apply to the actual filters cutoff itself. So let's set this macro over here pop it onto this and then amount minus one. So the trick here is to set a mod remap like this with a very drastic curve right at the beginning. So as you turn the macro on, it kind of like turns that randomness off. Check this out. <laughs> So then let's apply this to the cutoff. Let's just call this filter. Let's check out what's happening now. So another cool way of creating your own kind of custom filters is to stack them up. So let's say, for example, add a uh, another filter here. Let's set filter one to run through to filter two. And then let's put this into a band pass, give it a bit of resonance. So the trick here is to mix it in with the original. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And then we can set up a couple of characteristics here to change the way that these filters work together. So let's firstly, let's set a, a thing here like we did with the um, random so that it stops the random when we start modulating this. Minus one, give it a shape like this. So what we can do is we can give this this random that's applying to the filter too. Let's change this mod remap here. We can invert it or we can actually just draw in a bunch of steps like this so that the randoms are different. They're not kind of corresponding to each other, if that makes sense. <laughs> So another really cool way of creating custom filter characteristics is audio rate modulation. So how we do this is by setting a LFO into key track mode and then applying that modulation to one of the filters. Check this out. Another really cool trick is to create custom filters using the EQ module in here. So actually, let me just save this one as well because it'll be easier to do it on a, on a fresh sound. So let's initialize preset. So check out this EQ module over here. You've got low pass, you've got high pass and various other things in between. So we can create notches as well as all sorts of weird things. So, especially when you start to audio rate modulate 
these things. So let's just like, for example, audio rate modulate this notch over here. Yo, how sick is that? But we can modulate all of these, like this this parameter here, gains, cutoffs, resonance of each of these parameters with various like envelopes, LFOs to create various squelchy sounds. And then, of course, you can stack it up with the filters that already exist in the synth. <laughs> Awesome, that's about it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to be posting all of these presets to my Patreon for all my $5 supporters. So if you want to know what that's all about, check out the link in the description. If you haven't yet, then consider subscribing to my channel and hit that like button. See you guys next time. Cheers. <laughs>